tell us about who's going to be on there? Well, we don't yet, but uh, we will shortly. Um, and, and, and let me assure you that it's going to be uh, spectacular. It's going to be uh, stacked from top to bottom. Um, we will be having a double header on HBO. So, uh, so we're, we're working on a few things. We're, 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 um, we're making sure that, um, that the card from top to bottom is one that, that the, the fans are going to really enjoy. Is the double header like a separate main event or it's like your guys' fight and then another promoter's fight or explain on that? Yeah, no, it's, it's our card from top okay. to bottom. So, okay. um, yeah, so we're, we're putting some really, really um, nice cards together and uh, some nice fights and uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be exciting. LA is kind of busy that night. There's a UFC card at the forum. Do you feel uh, it might hurt at all? I don't know, different fan bases, but what do you make? No, no, uh, uh, on the contrary. Uh, they're saying that this is the fastest selling um, card at the StubHub um, ever. And we're, what, three, four months away? So it's going to be a sellout. It's going to be, I mean, there's no doubt about it. So, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting because um, people know fights and people, people know matchups. And, um, I mean... There's not one person that can talk bad about this fight. I mean, this is this is a great, great fight. Oscar, eh, el bandido es un peleador como tú. Fue olímpico, un peleador olímpico. ¿Qué empatía tienes con él? Y aparte de ser de Golden Boy. Pues fíjate, fíjate que el, el bandido es un, mira, es, es, es un peleador humilde, trabajador. Este, eh, tiene sus metas, ¿no? Este, que quiere lograr en el boxeo, ¿no? de ser campeón mundial en múltiples eh, divisiones. Este, el hecho de que fue olímpico pues, lo ayuda, ¿no? es una gran ventaja porque tiene mucha experiencia como amateur. Eh, pero el bandido es un, es un, es un joven que, que tiene mucho que dar y pues, este, contra Salido va a ser una pelea fuerte, una, una pelea, una guerra. Y pues esperamos que, que el bandido... Pues, Este, la gente la gente sabe lo que es el boxeo y la gente sabe que esta pelea va a ser una, una, una gran batalla de, de dos guerreros este, en una arena en el Stop Hub en donde, en donde se, se han visto ¿no? eh, eh, muchas muchas gran, grandes eh, peleas ¿no? en, en esa arena así que la gente de Los Ángeles va a quedar muy contenta lo único que falta es la alfombra roja para tus peleas no tanta tanta estrella que para no pues fíjate que es lo que es lo que atrae el boxeo este por cualquier razón por alguna razón este las estrellas los, los, los actores actores lo que sea les encanta el boxeo así que este esta pelea aquí pues vamos a no sé a quién vamos a ver pero van a estar ahí Oscar, you're continuing to offer us these great fights after great fight. Obviously, a big pay-per-view coming up in May. Are there any fights that are in the hopper that you can give us a little scoop on that you're trying to make right now? Yeah, well, we're uh, we're working a few things with uh, with uh, Ortiz, our heavyweight. Um, I, I, uh, he's demanding a huge fight, a, a big name. So uh, we're working on a couple of things. I, I don't want to let the uh, cat out of the bag yet. I apologize for that, but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I can assure you that it's going to be uh, it's going to be um, it's going to be a great uh, uh, next three quarters of the year uh, for Golden Boy. I mean, um, you know, uh, a lot of fighters are, are that we're building are coming up. Um, uh, a lot of fighters uh, uh, like Matisse, who wants to come back and, and, and fight in the second half of the year against a big name uh, opponent. Uh, he possibly wants to go up to 47. Uh, so a lot of great names up there, so. There's a lot of fights out there that we're working on, but uh, for now, the, the cat will stay in the bag. Okay. What has it been like talking to Matisse? We've been seeing some reports recently that he just doesn't have that drive to continue. What can you, what type of conversations would you, have you had with him to motivate him to return to the ring? I, I just think he's not ready yet. I, I just think look, that that loss for him was, uh, was, was a devastating loss uh, uh, for his spirit, you know, for his soul. And um, I just strongly feel that... Uh, that uh, he needs a little more time, uh, but when he comes back, he'll be facing the top guys once again. I mean, that's 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 who Matisse is. He's a, he, he has a fighting spirit, so um, you know he, he still still has a lot to offer uh, the, to the to the fight fans. And I think uh, I think when he does come back, um, it, it'll be it'll be against a top uh, top name fighter uh, in boxing. Oscar, when I uh, 
Oscar, when I spoke to you uh, in December at your Christmas thing, is uh, when you first mentioned to me about uh, that your dream matchup would be Canelo versus Khan. Was that already kind of in the mix, or is that like the first time you actually thought about it? No, I, I actually just thought about that. Um, yeah, and then it, it, it happened. I mean, it's. I just, I just feel. I mean, look, the, the more and more I hear about about Khan and and the way he's talking and and the way he's looking and. He's a confident fighter. I mean, that's that's why we love Amir Khan. I mean, when has Amir Khan been in a boring fight? And and you know the fact that people say, well, he's coming up in weight. Yeah, he's moving up four pounds. It's no big deal. Um, you know, so uh, I think I think this is going to be a terrific, terrific matchup. And uh, again, I mean, I, I I stand ground on what I said. I mean, I, I and 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 hold my feet firm. Is that this is a dream matchup? And uh, you know, I, I heard Bob Arum. I heard Bob Arum uh, wants to talk to me about making Pacquiao Canelo. Well, I think that I think that train has left the station. Um, Canelo's now fighting. Um, Canelo's now fighting the guy that Pacquiao didn't want to fight. He's now fighting Mayweather didn't want to fight him. So Canelo's fighting Amir Khan. So um, you know, and after that, I mean, we we have to uh, we have to discuss uh, all the big name fighters at 160, uh, uh, including Triple G. Is Tapiel Lemieux kind of seen as the next guy? Do you think Tapiel Lemieux is that what you're kind of considering? Maybe uh... no, they're just in the mix. That, that's all it is. I mean, it's uh, is he the next? No, 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 not absolutely not. What we're trying to do is, uh, we obviously want to build um, fighters for Canelo to to face. And um, you know, whether you're in the 54 division, which I still feel Canelo can make easy. Or the 60 division, you know. I mean, this is the hot division now, and so um, we want to make sure that uh, that that we build these fighters um, uh, to create good fights. Thank you, guys. Right, Thank you.